All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back to my Hot Banger Recap Marathon. So we're going to check out Zeph Byer's newest recap, and this is recap for Axiom Orders Wolverine. Oh boy, this movie. <laughs> so this one is called what Deadpool Wolverine's first fight was Pierce Sandy. So yes, it was. Uh, first things first, uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine was freaking bad. It was so bad. And that Deadpool was not Deadpool. It was not Ryan Reynolds, by the way, If behind the scenes. That was actually Scott Atkins as fake-ass Deadpool. <laughs> See, yep, fake-ass Deadpool indeed. So it was like, that's supposed to be Deadpool? Because I didn't know jack about the character when it first came out back in 2009, which is crazy enough it came out that, that long ago. So I was like, man. They ruined, they freaking ruined the hell out of this movie. They sure damn did. So it's like, oh God, I don't want to see this movie ever again. I don't. But Zephyr did recap on it. It's always going to be hilarious. So, Hot Squad, without further ado, we're going to check out Zephyr's recap of X Men Origins Wolverine right now. Let's check it out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. So, Deadpool and Wolverine is out. Normally, I would pull a Miles and backdoor the footage, but I am not dealing with the mouse. So, I'm. I understand that and also congratulations Deadpool Wolverine to hit a billion dollars baby a billion freaking dollars three weeks later man I mean wow freaking hell I have to take it back to the first time they boxed and it starts with Wolverine leading the mutants to freedom Logan Tubman's in full <laughs> effect up, only to get stopped by Deadpool oh, himself God. and nah oh, I know y'all see this oh. this man's cosplay and that's <laughs> His tattoos were either done by a fifth grader oh or he got it off Timu, cause bro, you're not slick. <laughs> it's like asking for a Tupac tattoo and the dude gives you Anthony Mackie. Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> He's staring him down and I know I don't know what the director was thinking, casting Anthony Mackie and notorious that B.I.G. Bell, but I don't know what the hell he's thinking. <laughs> Oh my god. Y'all see the Rogue's Gallery of Milk right behind Wolverine. Milk. He can't sell this. Now a man of professional taste such as myself, these shorties wouldn't have moved me. But if you put someone like, I don't know, Halle Berry Storm in the back, I'm gonna eat it. Ah! But Wolverine locks in and you see that boy flexing the claws. It's a stick up. <laughs> and this scene right here is the equivalent of losing a band for band. Cause tell me why Deadpool just out this nigga in front of the hoods. And look at him in the back, they all shocked. And now Wolverine losing a meat for meat is crazy. You gotta hop in the stool or something. Deadpool can't open his mouth. Someone gonna get that boy out of my house. <laughs> they all start running away because you know this man for man shirt gets serious and Deadpool starts walking. And I was watching this and I was like, bro, no way this is Ryan Reynolds, bro. It's not. Fuck! It's not. This is not the Mint Mobile nigga. <laughs> and Deadpool starts applying straight pressure on Wolverine, but he's moving like Bronny the last lavender, the this. way he's shooting that straight air. Ah, and that. Wolverine hits a clean stab. Oh, only for it to do nothing. What the Stop playing! Yes. What the fuck? Stop playing! And this is where Deadpool started straight cooking and slashing his back got him like this. <laughs> and drop kicked up right to the floor. And after this, Wolverine got the zoomies, hit the dash, ran away. And the moment Deadpool walks outside, this man's on a chemical plant. <laughs> like, bro. Like, nah, my man got hit with the post-traumatic smoke disorder. He made sure he was long gone. And he really ran up there and had the audacity to taunt Deadpool. I'm crying. This is really the equivalent of online niggas being like, Come outside, nigga! Pull up then! Yeah. Yeah. Y'all ain't seen yeah. no action. Yeah. And that taunt ain't mean nothing either, because Deadpool hit that. Yeah, the teleport. Yeah, he's lost, man. He don't know what to do, I can tell. And Deadpool starts putting in that straight... Drop like dog, peep how he does him. Laid that boy fresh out like a picnic table, and Deadpool hit that. <laughs> giving him the X on his chest like he lucky, got him screaming. He's about to finish him off only to get slapped. And bro, peep over it. <laughs> nah, this can't be my goal, fam. Get that thing off the road, bro. Like, dog. This nigga think he low <laughs> But Sabretooth picks that boy up. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. I do not like this nigga. And I know all two Sabretooth fans are crying in the comments right now. Because apparently every time I don't like a character, they all of a sudden have fans. Like, I seen y'all niggas in my comments up the pole for the penguin, nigga. Like, bro, y'all be writing statements like these not even believing y'all selves, bro. Y'all are cap. Like, y'all would really be there gassing up anybody like them Latina shorties. Be on they Snapchat like... Here with my nigga, 
whole time it's Ernesto <laughs> de la Cruz, bro. Ain't no way. But Saber 2 saves them and they like, dog, where was you? I was at them Diddy party, shun word is boss. <laughs> what? <laughs> so but this is when I knew Deadpool was all smoke because he spawned and said, <laughs> in the middle of their combo just to drop him. And that's when Wolverine calls a defensive play of going back to back. And you should know, all real niggas get stronger in close proximity. No pause. No, well, no, zoom. Hey, yeah. Because Vegito's the, the realest nigga in anime and he's out here being created by two grown men molding their meat. Like, nah, yeah, bro. Meats. We caught you. And this is where Deadpool just started trolling him. <laughs> because my dog hit this majestic theatrical jump just for the flex and then started piecing these niggas. Switching sides with the kicks like, okay, nigga, I see you. And I feel bad for Wolverine because this is really a 1v1. Sabretooth ain't nothing but a water boy. Look at this nigga. He ain't get a single hit off. Like, bro, this white Kevin Gates moving like he's a Nazis, a titty cum bone. Tee up. But Deadpool's again doing them bad, hitting them with drop kicks to the face. Got my boy hitting the Kaepernick. Black Lives yeah. Matter unless it's R. Kelly's. Goes to Sabretooth and flash kicks this nigga. Got him hitting the Neo. Sweeps Wolverine and then axe kicks the shit out of Sabretooth. Like y'all see this bro, even in his trash versions, he's still the GOAT. But Sabretooth chokes him, gets done like a Dragon Ball character, and Wolverine stabs him from behind. And Deadpool knew out of context this shot looks Straight out of a Diddy party, so he <laughs> weaved out the way. A young bull started moving like Homelander, immediately yes. sprayed the beans. He sprays it at Wolverine and he blocks it, got his hands burning. But he deflects it back, got my nigga flung. And then Saber 2 starts running in like Kai said that, only to get set the fuck down. And Deadpool starts spraying them to Kingdom Come. I swear he was looking like Soldier Boy in that one edit. But that was a mistake because Wolverine comes from behind in this clean wallpaper shot and decapitates Deadpool. Ending the battle in his victory. Yeah. Yeah, fake ass Deadpool, man. Fake ass Deadpool. Good lord. Now, by the way, if I said this in the intro, I did not know that was supposed to be Deadpool and it was just Wolverine because I didn't know Jack about the character until I saw the first Deadpool movie. I was like, what? That's supposed to be Deadpool? Are you serious? Like, wow. That's that. It kind of hates me, hates the movie even more about that. Like, come on, man. Come on. Come on. And Ryan Reynolds was so dedicated playing as a character in that movie until they screwed up. I think um, Twin Surgeon Fox screwed it up. So, wow. That's a damn shame. That's a goddamn shame. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Overall, W recaps that fire. Shout out to you, man. Keep up the great work. So, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my Hot Banger recap reaction to Zed Fire's X Men Origins recap. So, if you enjoyed this, please hit the button, comment, share your thoughts. How old was you when you saw X Men Origins? Do you, how you rank this from like, you know, the worst to best? I mean, of course, it, obviously, it's the one of the worst in the series. One of the worst, but is it the worst in the series? What y'all think? Comment down below. And also, by the way, I'm almost to 400 subscribers, man. Almost 400 subscribers. I know I haven't mentioned it before, but yes, I'm almost to 400 subscribers, man. I uh, mean, it's been an absolute journey for me getting getting as much hot bangers cooked within two years and it's been absolutely been phenomenal honestly it's been really been great of course i've been busy with college i've been busy with work but i've been doing this two years in a row and i will continue hopefully you know get get a chance to join that youtube part program so i can pay for for doing this reaction gig so yeah it's been a ride it's been a hell of a ride so i'm almost a foreign subscriber so all you new subscribe all you new viewers by the way please 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 subscribe to me and we'll get to that hopefully that's 500 milestone before next year so hot squad please stay tuned because i have my last hot banger recap i haven't catched up on and it's gonna be the last one for today because i have other stuff to do so this hot banger recap i got next is cool 109's logan recap so hot squad please stay tuned